All right, PCs are not selling. Let's try some new things out and also list another computer for sale. Welcome to episode 12 of Flipping PCs Until I Buy a House. This was a series I started with an end goal in mind to have enough money saved up from flipping PCs to put a down payment on a house. But the PC market is pretty trash right now, at least in my local market. The last episode, we ended up listing a computer for sale well, it still hasn't sold, so let's try to fix that. But without today's video sponsor, this video would not be happening. Visit Super CDK, it is linked down below. Whether you need a Windows 10 Pro key or Windows 11, they have it all. Before you complete the checkout, be sure to use the discount code SPLA to save on that sweet, sweet green. To activate the key, you just simply copy and paste it into your window activation settings, click activate, and bam, legit window key for the low. Anyways, time to find some computer deals and sell some computers. Well, hopefully. All right, here's the PC I listed for sale. It's an i5 9400F RTX 2060 build. I listed it at 650 bucks. And for that price, I thought it would sell, especially with those specs. All I've gotten are people that message me and then don't reply. I had this one guy that I thought was gonna buy it, but then he lowballed me for $350 and offered an older gaming laptop to make up for the lack of price. So that's obviously not gonna work out. I also listed it on Mercari, but no luck there. Today, we're gonna to be trying to list it on Jawa. I've never sold on there before, so hopefully we get some traction. I was scrolling through the PCs that also have 2060s on there and decided to list mine at the same $650 price tag. Hopefully we get some attention because I'm tired of it not selling. It's just sitting in the corner looking at me like, what are you doing? Why is it not selling? And I don't know why it's not selling, but hopefully it sells soon. Also, any of you guys that sell on Jawa, leave some tips down below because now I'm a new seller on there. I'd love some tips. We might be selling that PC. I will talk to you guys more about it in one second. Yesterday was the first day of it being listed up on Jawa. No one has really messaged me. Actually, one guy did, but he hasn't replied to me yet. But then a lot of other people started messaging me on it on my Facebook marketplace. And this one guy, he was like, yo, are you firm on the price? I said no. And here's a little tip, guys. Always say no, because if you say yes, you're just automatically gonna get lowballed. But I said no, what price were you thinking? And then he offered me 600, what's not a terrible offer, and I accepted, so hopefully he doesn't flake. I'll update you guys tomorrow if we meet up with him, because he's not available today. He said tomorrow, so I guess we'll see. Also, I wanna say, any of you guys that have a Jawa account, I'd appreciate it if you drop a follow on mine. It's linked down below. And also, I'll be listing all my computers on there and some singular computer parts in the near future. So I guess just, I don't know, drop a follow, I'd appreciate it. Today is the day we sell that computer. I messaged the guy just to confirm that we're still meeting up and he confirmed that we were. So let's hook it up to make sure it still works. Sorry for the bad lighting. I don't really have time to change the light around, but flip the power switch, press it. Okay, good news already. It's, it's already lighting up. The monitor's just right there behind. Perfect, we got a post right away. Sweet, sweet. I'm also gonna send the buyer a little video with this and the setup all powered on so he sees that it works. All right, let's pack it up and uh, hit the road. All right, we got the PC all packed away in the whip. I actually have a work meeting and then work, so I will see you guys later when we sell that computer. All right, so my work meeting just ended and um, I'm actually gonna meet up with the guy right now instead of after work. So the meeting spot's about 26 minutes away, so I'll see you guys in just one quick second. All right, I got to the meeting spot a little bit early, so while we wait for this guy to arrive, let me know how your day's going in the comments down below. And also, if you haven't joined the Discord server, definitely join it. It's also linked down below. The guy took a fatty minute to get here, and then um, transaction was pretty fast. I couldn't get a chance to record, but we got the funds. Um, account, we got 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82, and then three, four, five, six. So I sold it for 600. Uh, when I get home later tonight after work, I will talk to you guys about the profits. Let's talk about them profits. I built the RTX 2060 PC for $481.81. And then we ended up selling it for 600 bone. Doing the quick math in my head, we got a profit of $118.52. Definitely not the best profit, but hey, it's above a hundred bucks and profit is profit. At least we finally sold it and it's not sitting in the corner tormenting me anymore. I recently made a video about a $350 gaming PC. If you haven't watched it, it'll be linked down below, 
but today is the day that we finally list it for sale. I just need to take some pictures of it and reset it because I don't remember if I did that yet. The total price for the PC was $296.83. For that price, it's freaking awesome. It's rocking an i7-4770, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and a GTX 1660 Ti. I did a quick search on eBay to get my listing price. I just searched up all the parts and found the average price they were selling for and came to a total of $470. So I'm deciding to list at $550. That definitely leaves a good amount of room for profit and the lowest I'll go is $450, but I would love to get 550. I mean, who wouldn't? I ended up listing it on two of my local markets and over on Jawa, but the work doesn't stop there. Let's quickly build another budget PC Test it and then list it. Got some good news. Yes, I just barely woke up. That is why my hair is crazy. Gonna make some breakfast and then I'll tell you guys the good news. Good news time. It is the next day after listing that computer and it sold guys. As I said, I listed it on two local marketplaces and over on Jawa and it sold on Jawa. I also said I was gonna build another computer, but I had work and I was gonna build it after work. Never got around to it, but today is the day we ship that PC and then I'll build that computer in another video. Since I am shipping it, I'm obviously gonna need foam. I thought I had some Instapack, can't seem to find it though, but let's keep looking for it. Last place to check is this little three drawer system with a bunch of random computer stuff. Also, everyone say hi to Bo. Uh, first drawer, not looking like it's in there. We got some like old GPUs. Hello. Okay, here it is, boys. So yeah, I did buy this one a long time ago because I did plan on shipping a PC a while ago. Never got around to using this, but luckily I have it now. I also ordered a nine pack of that off of Amazon for 50 bucks, but that one doesn't get here until like three days later. So luckily I had this one so I can get it shipped out the same day the buyer bought it. And since I'm selling it online, I'm setting it back up so I can get proof that it still works before I ship it out, just in case the buyer tries to do anything. All right, flip the power switch, press the power button. Of course, it springs right to life. There's a little monitor. Any second. There we go. Alrighty, time to put the Instapack in there. So I'm pretty sure these just work. There's chemicals in here and you kind of mix it together. And then it starts expanding. It says push down until it pops. But nothing's popping. <laughs> there we go. Oh wow, that foam gets hot. All right, time to put the tempered glass on. I've never used that Instapack stuff and that was sick as hell. Honestly didn't expect it to get that hot, but it does get pretty warm. Now it should be secured. Time to record me putting it in the box so I have proof that I'm shipping it out and then we can go and ship it. Also including the power cord because I said I would in the description. Just want to make sure I don't forget it. Time to put this bad boy in the car. I'm a little bit upset. I guess, I guess I'm not selling the computer. Look at that. Somehow the buyer said he already received the computer and I haven't even shipped it out yet. So I am a bit confused. I don't know if I'll be able to ship it still or I don't know what's going to happen. But yep, I don't think I can sell it. <laughs> Unfortunate. Especially since I already packed it up put the Instapack in, complete waste of time. It's literally only the next day, but I got more good news for you guys. I think we're finally selling that computer today. I had someone message me earlier this morning and asking about it and they're like, oh, perfect man, what time works for you? And we're about to meet up in about 30 minutes. But first I wanna share this one message with you. This guy messaged me about it, I think the first night I listed it, he said, how about 50 bucks? At first I saw it and I wanted to say, how about you? off but then i replied i was like did he mean like 500 so I was like did you mean 500 he said no 50. i just ignored him i wanted to say you can shove my foot up but um just better to ignore those type of people <laughs> like 
Are you? Was he kidding? I, I don't even know. But since yesterday, since we did pack it up with the Instapack, I have to take the Instapack out. And I also want to give the buyer proof that it works still. So let's do that and then we'll hit the road. Woohoo! At least the graphics card's safe. Woohoo! It still works. I mean, why wouldn't it? But like I said, I just want to give the buyer proof. Alrighty, let's get this bad boy packed up. Got the computer all packed away in the car, let's go. Alrighty guys, I'm at the meeting spot. I'm gonna try to record, I have my camera propped up. Um, but now we're just waiting for the guy. Also, rate the fit, look at this denim jacket. It is sick as hell. I'm not too sure how well you guys can see it, but this denim jacket is sick. All right, he just pulled up. Yo, man, how you doing? Doing good, yeah. yeah it's Kai, right? Yeah. Elijah, man. Nice to meet you. I'm just recording just so you know. Good man. Did you want to? You want? Yeah, thank you, man. It bumps. <laughs> Did you want to see it out of the box or? Um, I mean, does it work? Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's why I sent the video just to give you like a yeah. peace of mind, no, I mean, like the timestamp and everything. Yeah. Pretty protected by foam. Um, I'm not sure if you ever had a computer before, nope. but uh, when you get home, there's a the power supply is at the top. Okay. That's what this side plugs into, obviously, and then. Make sure you flip the switch before you try turning it on or it just won't do anything. <laughs> I've just had a lot of people message me like, dude, it doesn't even work. No, I mean, I can flip this. Oh, Venmo good or? Yeah, we can do Venmo, man. Is it 550? Yeah, 550. Yeah, thanks for making the drive out here, man. Do you build these? Yeah, I do. I build them. For some reason, it was only 539, though. Oh, okay. It was just for goods and services. Yeah, that makes sense. Sweet, bro. I appreciate you driving out here. Of course. You know. Yeah, just message me if you have any problems and I'll for Philly to help you out, man. Thank you. Yeah, you have a good day. Let's go. Second PC sold and off to a happy customer. Well, hopefully. Hair is a bit crazy, but let's talk about them profit. It is definitely better than the first build and this one sold way faster. I think it sold in about two days. The last build took about a month to sell, so I'm super happy this one sold fast. Anyways, we built the i7 GTX 1660 Ti PC for $296.83 and we sold it for $550. We didn't get cash, but he did send me a payment over on Venmo. Doing some quick math in my head, we get a pretty juicy profit of $253.17. Everyone drop a big fat W in the comments below for that profit and for selling two PCs in one video. This video did have some downs, especially when that guy canceled over on Jawa, but hey, it all worked out in the end. And also, don't forget to drop a follow on my Jawa account. It is linked down below. And if you enjoy watching these flipping videos, then watch this video next, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.